Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 12 of my Aston Villa story. And before I get into the episode, a couple of episodes ago, uh, someone left in the comments how to pronounce an Australian player's name. He's newly in the Premier League, Premier League I should say. Maybe I should uh, learn how to pronounce. And yeah, this uh, new player, or not new player, he's new, uh, Crystal Palace new to the Premier League this year, Australian player, uh, Mile Yedinak, that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not surprised some people may be confused. But he's a, a really good central midfield player, defensive-minded, a very good tackler. Uh, to be honest, for me, at least if you just see his stats in the game, uh, he would do the job at any team uh, his, before his current age. like Of course, if he goes over 30, he starts going down. But he's a really, really good defensive midfielder, great tackler, uh, very good influence, teamwork, work rate, and yeah, good strength as well. So he's a yeah good player. And therefore, that's how you pronounce his name, Mile Yedinak for the person who wanted to know and anyone else if they want to know as well. But on to the episode now. Uh, the last two matches, I was going to play more, but something crucial happened that I'm going to show you and the reason why I'm going to play the next match, uh, why I'm doing it live. But we had two losses, or one loss, I should say, against Arsenal away. But th to me... To me, that's not a bad result, really. Uh, when you 2-3 away against Arsenal, a top four team, it's not that bad. You get Fernando Tissone and Benteke scoring. But the next match against Swansea, um, it was probably disappointing. But don't forget, Swansea finished sixth last year, even though they're doing bad this season. Uh, they're sitting, where are they sitting? Um, yeah, they're sitting in 15th, and they won the last match against us. So they were like in the relegation zone almost. So got to be careful of that but then look at this oh no that's why yeah Ron Vlar got injured and he's not the only one to be injured so I want you to have a look at this we got Christian Benteke injured uh, I clicked on the injury but where do you say okay uh, he's injured for about a month he won't be playing any first team action for a month so that's a big miss uh, Brad Guzan a goalkeeper so that's something important um, where, how long is he injured for again maybe for a couple more weeks uh, he's been very good for us that's all I can say he's been too good um uh, yeah Kyriakos coming back from his injury key player in defense uh, he's starting to decrease a bit more maybe this is his last season for us we'll just see how it goes uh so yeah the goalkeeper situation is the main one I had to bring in Jed Steer and I really it gave him a good opportunity to come in because I think he has good potential he's got a three-star report uh, and I'm surprised of that because I haven't really given him a chance and when I give him a chance it might increase in my opinion uh, he I would imagine it could so yeah, I went over starting him over Shea Given. Given's getting older, and to be honest, looking at their attributes, they're the same, but Jed Steer has the potential, and while Benjamin Sagris is out on loan at Birmingham, so uh, hopefully he can be a good goalkeeper, and Sagris and uh, Jed Steer can be our two main keepers in the future. We'll just have to see. So I am that's why I want to do this episode, because I'm giving a young goalkeeper a chance, and want to see how he plays. So I did. I created not created. I did my lineup before the team or before the match started. So I'll just leave it how it is. And Vyman actually hasn't been playing great, so I'm going to take him off and put Tom Ince. Tom Ince has been really great for me, and I want to give uh, Craig Chi a chance because he's really got high potential and he's got some high attributes as well. Uh, so I'll just move into the match, even though Estegarabi has been scoring. I just think I'll go like that. Because uh, for me, Esther Garabia, he's, I don't know, he's a good impact player off the bench, like with some pace and that. So I just want to give uh, Kretschy a chance because he has the potential in that. And of course, I have to start Hellenius because of uh, Bent, or not Bent, uh, Benteke is out for an injury. And he's been okay. He got some good results, scored twice against Man United. So uh, he's definitely on some goal scoring <laughs> form, I should say. Uh, anyway, I think we should move into the match. Uh, see, our midfield has been really dominant. Westwood, Tassone, and Sanchez. That's a fantastic midfield three. They've been dominating together. And yeah, that's all I can say. They're a very, very good uh, team. And at the moment, Clint Dempsey can't find a way into the team. I know because he's only on loan. I want to play players that are currently going to be the, a part of the future. I, I'm only going to put Dempsey if needed. And we've got Carly coming back from his injury. So it might give him a chance. Another center midfield prospect. Uh Ideally, when Tosono gets a bit older, he'll come in. And yeah, it will all mix together well, in my opinion. So, move to opposition instructions. I just realized I can do this hold control. And actually, I'm going to do this on the... Basically, uh, the strikers and every single wide player. Uh, do exactly what you can see there. And do tight marking and show onto weaker foot. That's been working lately, so I'm going to go with that. And I'll continue to the team talk. And what the, where am I here? Uh, assertive, bottom option. Always do that again. Uh, most of our players get a positive reaction. 
Uh, so now going to the match, I was just waiting for that. And uh, yeah, Wigan, I don't know. They're not amazing team. We should really get a win. That's why I'm keeping on overload. I've been changing that a bit depending on which teams I'm playing against. And look how attacking Wigan is right now. Uh, all their players um, in their half. So they're obviously going out on the attack, playing at home, and we're going the same. So it could make for a high-scoring match maybe. Who knows? But defensively, we're okay sometimes, even on overload. So that's a bit mixed. Oh, Kretschy coming in. Uh, I played him for a chance. And there he goes. Gets the assist for Nicholas Hellenius. And that's the thing. Hellenius has been on really, really good form. So uh, when Benteke... If Benteke is like fully fit, I'm not sure who I should start. Especially uh, when he scored the two goals in the Man United match. That was like really... I didn't know what to do pretty much. Uh, because Benteke obviously has great attributes. But Hellenius had good form and has good potential as well. So it's really hard. And of course, here yeah, I'm going to go more... I'm probably just going to go on control, or wherever, yeah, control, because I believe we have the more dominant midfield, so we can just control in midfield, and yeah, hopefully control, and hold on to this result, but again, Thomas Ince coming in, red, ah, oh, yeah, we're going to win this, uh, Watson picking up a red card, this has to be a red, and it is, we've got this wrapped up, unfortunately, this probably means we aren't going to score from the free kick, uh, because I've never got a free kick after they've got a, re a red card, because, yeah, that's the basically highlight, as you can see, uh, fairly poor effort, and that was always on the cards when Ben Watson picked up an early yellow. It was always going to be on the cards. He could get a red. Uh, so, yeah, we should just hold on to this result nicely. Uh, I'm not going to go full attacking. I just want to, yeah, hold on to the result. And, yeah, this is going to be an easy, a nice win, unless they can do something here. But hopefully we can defend it well. Remis, what is he going to do? Westwood tackle. Tackle. Oh, nice tackle. Now we're on the break. This has to be a goal to Sone Kredzci. Westwood play it. Hellenius for two. He's got a brace in 39 minutes. Niklas Hellenius, he's making a big problem for Christian Benteke. What, I suppose it's good having two good strikers because when one gets injured, like Benteke, uh, the other comes in and finishes nicely. Uh, well done. Uh, picking up. And this could really push us into the Europa League positions right now around the sixth. Just depends on what other teams do. I'm just going to go passionate. I'm very pleased with that. Again, most players get a positive result. Hellenius, he's just been banging the goals in in the Premier League. Like you saw before, scored twice against Man United. And maybe he's the striker for this season. And don't forget, he's still young as well. So we've got a nice, young, growing squad. And this, that's how I've always suited my football manager. I'll just see what happens from this set piece. And they almost score. And yeah, that's why I've always suited for me. I've always suited being a team that doesn't have high expectations and I can build young players and yeah, that's just the way I like to manage and build for the future. That's what how I like to play uh, because obviously everyone loves young players. But here we go. Could we get another chance? Ince, Westwood. He goes all the way back to Luna. But it's good. We can just start again, try to create an attack. Luna, he was always going to play that to Kredzci. And finds Tosone. Tosone, what he's going to do? Puts it in. Hellenius, ooh, he was going for his hat trick. But we'll look here to make a sub. Um, after this very impressive away match. Away matches for me haven't been great. Uh, I don't need, I'm don't i not sure whether to leave Hellenius on because you don't want to take him off when they have a hat-trick. That's a big thing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Who do we have as strikers to come on? Vyman, no one really. Uh, Carly has very good morale. I'm just going to bring him on for uh, Tassone, just rest him a bit. Uh, so, yeah, we'll bring on Carly, just show you him in case you forgot him. He's from Morocco, obviously. And, yeah, he's got very good attributes. And in his information, he could be the next uh, Abdel Jamid Dolmi. Or however you say that guy's name. <laughs> Last time I didn't say it because I had no idea. But anyway, look at his attributes. Very nice. Uh, very good free kick taker as well. He's technically sound. Uh, he's aggressive as well. So that makes him... He's not He's not a weak player. So that's very good. And we'll see what kind of impact he can make right now. And I'll just save some other subs for later. And I'll just say there's no pressure on him. And he seems relaxed. I always like to do that for my players. just Especially players that are new to the team or young players. That seems to work well. Like if they're not confident or something, that relaxes them. And they uh, normally do well. And more importantly, Jed Steer. How... How good would a clean sheet be? That would just be fantastic for his confidence. Uh, Hellenius, Westwood, can he play? Oh, nice. Tassone, Westwood, what a goal. That was fantastic. That's like some Barcelona football right there. Look, that was amazing football. Look at that, Westwood. And the runs, don't forget, look at the run there by Tassone. And the sweaty goal, if you like. Fantastic piece of play. Uh, loving it right now. My team eventually is playing the way I want to. And of course, it's not going to happen in the first season. That's why I kind of 
don't like it when people say I'm bad at the game because you can't be good straight away. You can't expect Aston Villa to win the title straight away. And so, yeah, you've got to be realistic. And I came one position above the media prediction last year, so you can't be too mad. And again, look at that. That is sweet. That's like Barcelona. Cully scoring on his debut. Didn't take him too long to score. Finally, we're playing this way. This is how I've wanted to play from the start. The runs are coming in. Uh, Hellenius, just perfect. My players... Uh, they know where all my other, the other players are, so they know where to play the balls and all of that. And I think I'll make another sub. We'll make a substitution, go to advanced tactics once again. And I really don't want to take off Hellenius because then he's going to get mad because he wants to get a hat-trick. Uh, I'll take off Westwood and bring on another midfielder, just someone more balanced. I'll bring on Amadi because they're both... He's Moroccan as well with Kali, and he's got a good morale. That's just the uh, just the smart thing to do there. Um and I guess I'll take off a core and hopefully he doesn't get a red card because we need him. And we'll bring on Nathan Baker for some experience. We've got great def young defenders coming through. Those three right there. Kieran Clark and Nathan Baker. And, of course, Jaws core. Fantastic, like, three defenders right there, part of the future. And, again, see the young players get a really good result when I say tell them to be relaxed and all of that. So, um, yeah, it's all good. We're winning 4-0 away, uh, picking up our goal difference a bit. And I would imagine we'll be around sixth after this match. Um... And yeah, this should be over here. 4-0 victory. See, it says my team talk. It was fantastic right there. And resulted us in dominating after half time. Again, I'll say passionate. Fantastic. Super performance by Nicholas Hellenius. But the whole team was amazing. And that really lifts up the morale of the team. Now, hopefully we can go on a good run with good morale. We've got some hard teams out of the way. And so, yeah, I'll leave the match there. And where are we sitting right here? Are we going to... Yep, we're six, like I imagined. So that's very good. Any team on seven played? Uh, you got Arsenal. So we're in front of Arsenal right now. Uh, if they win, obviously they'll go on top of us. But we're sitting in six. So that's fantastic. I just want to see what my next games are. Okay, you can see there. Well, we've got some easy Premier League matches. We could almost force our way into the top four. And look, I'll just uh, give a better review later. Man oh, Man United coming a draw. That's good for us if we want to extend uh, into the top four. Let's take a better look at it here. See, we're, we're not far away from Man United. See, the win we got against them was uh, very important. Uh, we lost a couple there, but we've gone on a very good run here, getting some good results. But if you take away Chelsea from the Capital One Cup, don't worry about that match. We got West Brom in the Premier League. And then we got Cardiff at home, Fulham at home. Uh, Liverpool might be a close match. Then some hard matches are going to come, but crucial. If you can somehow get wins there, we won against Man United 4-1, so anything can happen. Man City, Newcastle, Tottenham, going to be a hard time there. But again, then the matches get easier. So if we can stay around the top six, then we can really put ourselves in a good position to qualify for a European competition, whether it be Champions League or Europa League. You've got Norwich, Blackpool, Stoke, Leeds, and West Ham. And then again, the matches get hard. So uh, who knows what can happen? We're, we're starting good like last season. Hopefully we can stick it out though. And I think this season it will be different because of the quality and the morale. The morale is a big thing. Look how good it is right now. We've got, it's going to give us, this will help us get us like some amazing results, hopefully anyway. Um, we hammered them. And don't forget Jed Steer to get a clean sheet in his debut. Fantastic. Hellenius has been great. How much goals has he got this Premier League season? He scored four. So hopefully I'll start him. I'll keep starting him and I'll see how he go. He didn't really do much last season, but there's his attributes. Uh, he's a fantastic uh, striker. He's getting assists as long as goals. Carly made his debut. Everything... Um, yeah, everything was just going well in this match, so i got to be happy with that, and I just want to see uh, how Jed Steers going after his first, is that his first match, or he started, he played for Yeovil on loan uh, when he was at Norwich, actually, but yeah, his first match for us, uh, he got a clean cheat and a 7.10 rating, you can't ask for more than that, so I'm going to leave it at that for now, I'll just leave the Premier League table there, we're, we're sitting 6th, uh, that's a really good position for me, I at least, I think 6th will be a good position for us, and I think it's realistic this season. Uh, but, you know, same happened last year. I had high expectations, so hopefully we don't get bad injuries and lose the morale. If we can keep the morale the way it is, yeah, I think we can qualify for Europa League with finishing 5th or 6th this season. So uh, leave your comments, please. Leave a like if you enjoy the series, and I'll see you guys next time.